In this lesson, we're going to continue looking at our Bluetooth chat example. If you haven't seen the previous lesson that outlines the activity, you probably want to take a look at that first. In this lesson, we're going to look at the background service that handles the low-level code for managing Bluetooth connections and then the socket code that handles the messaging. Our service has a few states. We're not doing anything. We're listening for connections. We're in the process of connecting to a device and we are connected to a device. We have corresponding threads. The accept thread is when we're listening for connection requests. The connect thread is when we're in the process of connecting to a device and the connected thread is when we are connected and we're working with messages. When we start the service, we cancel any connect threads and connected threads that may have already been started previously, and we start a new accept thread, and we set our state. When we do accept a connection, you'll see that we fire off a connect method, and that will kill any previous connecting threads any connected threads and start a new connect thread and set our state. Once we successfully connect, we'll call the connected method. It'll shut down any previous connect threads, any previous connected threads, any accepted threads that are going on, and finally start a connected thread. Now we've actually really connected, so this is where we get to work a little bit more. We'll get a message for the device name that we connect with, and we'll send that message out to our activity. The activity has a handler, if you'll remember, for a device name message. And we'll set our state that we're connected. Stopping we'll shut down all of our various threads. And writing, we'll use the connected thread to output the message. And we'll see more about that later. We'll have handlers for connection failed, sending out a message. And same thing for connection lost. And here's our accept thread. We'll get a listening socket listened using RF com with service record. And that will give us a socket connection for our Bluetooth. When we run our accepting thread, we'll loop while our state is not connected. and we'll accept any incoming connections. This will block at this point, so it will stay right here until there are any connections that are requested and we'll accept them. Once we've accepted the connection, we'll go on, and if our state is connecting, we'll tell the service that we're connected to that socket that we accepted. If our state is already connected, then we'll close that socket because that's not what we wanted to do. The connect thread again uses a Bluetooth socket and in its run it's a blocking call to connect to that socket and it will handle any sort of connection failed errors. And then our connected thread runs after we've made a successful connection to the Bluetooth socket. From that, we get an input stream and an output stream, which is a network socket. 
If you're not familiar with network sockets, you might want to review those concepts. On our run method on this thread, we'll loop continuously, reading our input stream. Anytime we get a message, we'll let our handler know that, that we had a message read, and we'll pass it the number of bytes and the message buffer. On our write method, we'll use the output stream and write the message. And we'll let our handler know that we did the message right and send it back the message that it wrote. So that's the Bluetooth service. And you can see that it uses threading extensively and continuous background threading with eventing. So it's a good sample for not only looking at Bluetooth functions, but also for using threads in a background service.